This is Stella. Yes, I know, she looks perfectly normal, but she actually- Could you please be more quiet? I'm reading. Oh, um, whoops, sorry. Okay, well, I'm only supposed to stick around for a few more seconds, so I'm just gonna say that Stella is soulless. Hey, don't talk about Stella like that. No, she's literally soulless. Like, she is currently lacking her soul. You should know that by now, Ezra. You're the voice inside her head. Being soulless is an interesting experience. I don't feel anything at all. Oh, I just thought you were a sociopath. You do realize you're not supposed to address me, right? I can't help it if I can hear you because I'm soulless. Besides, we smashed that rule to pieces about five seconds into the movie. Yeah, but... Uh, whatever. Anyway, yeah, she was born without a soul. Don't ask me how that works, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna skedaddle. See ya! Oh, whoop, that's gonna be Reed. This is his third visit this week. Maybe he has a crush on you. Or maybe he's going to attempt to help me make friends again. Hmm, friends with benefits? Don't all friends have benefits, Ezra? Being soulless means that you're innocent. Then maybe I ought to lose my soul as well. Yeah, you definitely need some deep cleansing on your soul. Oh, shut up. Hello, Reed. Oh, hey, Stella. So, uh, hey, I was thinking... If you're gonna take me out to go make friends again, I'm going to have to decline. What? Why? Well, to put it nicely, the last two times it happens, everything went to sh- Ezra? Well, Stella doesn't need more friends anyway. She's got me, after all. And me! You don't count. Aww. The previous times didn't go very well. Hello. Oh, hey! Is this your first time here? Yes. Oh, that's cool. Have you ever read about Harry Potter? Yes. Really? Oh my gosh, that's my favorite series ever. Two hours later. Man, I wish I could do it the way the Spongebob narrator does it. He does it super well. And I cried so much when Lupin died. So, how did you like the series? It was nice. That's it? Shh. Hello. Oh, hey. Are you Cinderella? No. Why? Because I see that dress coming off at midnight. It's a skirt. Ooh, playing hard to get, huh? Well, I can definitely... Yeah, okay, we're leaving. Yeah, that wasn't great. But seriously, this time you'll have fun. I just invited some friends. Narrator, can you confirm that? I have the right to remain silent. Okay. Stella, what if one of his friends is a creep like the guy at the park? Seriously? Oh man, that's awesome. We're just gonna hang out at your house. Is that okay? Okay. Great, I'm just gonna go get him. Be back in a minute. Stella, we are going to establish a ground rule here. For the guests? That too. The rule is, no being in any room alone with the only one other person with the door shut. Okay. Okay, seriously, stop saying okay. You see that way too much. All right. Okay, Stella, so you obviously know me. This here's Adrian, one of my best pals. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Stella. Reed's told me that you're uh, eccentric, but um, you seem nice to me so far. Cool. See, you two are already getting along. And over here is... Hey, I'm Corey. You moved in a month ago, right? Actually, it was three weeks ago. Same difference. Anyway, nice to meet you. Same here. So, like, do your parents not live in the house with you? They work a lot. They're not gonna be mad if we come in, right? I mean, if they do get mad, it's kinda too late. You just entered Stella's house. They think I need to socialize, so probably not. And what's the best way to do that other than to go ghost hunting? Uh, really, Reed? Really? I should have known. Sorry, Stella. Reed here believes that ghosts live in this house. Five murders happened in this house. Five! There's no way that there isn't at least one spirit wandering around in here. Even though ghosts don't exist. I don't know. I mean, they might exist. Corin, don't encourage him! Five murders happened in this house? That's the first I've heard of this. I haven't heard anything about it either. Though I suppose people do shoot me odd looks whenever I say where we live. Oh, yeah. Good point. There's Nathaniel Harwood, 1872. Then there's Charity Langham in 1903. Ooh, and then there's Lilith Estone, around 1927. You seriously did your homework this time? Unlike other times. Oh, come on. Nothing like a ghost hunt to raise our spirits. That pun is making me seriously consider making you the sixth murder victim in this house, Reed. Okay, it wasn't that bad, Lauren. You no, know, it, it was pretty terrible. What are we doing the ghost hunt? Well, it's simple. We all split up and look around the house and try and spot a ghost. Your parents aren't coming home tonight, are they? No, they have a late business meeting tonight. 
Wow, what an incredibly convenient thing to happen. Wouldn't you agree, narrator? Hey, I'm not the one who makes up the plot. I just narrate. Great, then we can poke around your house at night for ghosts. You're okay with that, right, Stella? You didn't even ask her for permission first? Remember the haunted house incident? Oh, come on, it wasn't that bad. Reed, we got banned from entering the haunted house ever again. It's not forever, it's just 10 years. 10 years is still quite a while. When did this happen? Six months ago, before you arrived, so we've got nine and a half no, no, it was October. That was... Oh, wait, never mind. Yeah, that was six months ago. Yeah, you're not going to go poking around in Stella's house that much, right, Reed? Uh, no, no, man. You'd be very good. Perhaps I have money. Five bucks a lesson. It's friends! You have a point. Four dollars and fifty cents a lesson. Impossible. Maybe I'm impossible, but I'm also a brown belt in karate. Hey, no violence in Stella's house. Unless I'm teaching Stella how to defend herself. That's not violence. That's not my- Stella, I'll teach you some self-defense in time, alright? Okay. Well, now that that's settled, let's go poke around and look for some ghosts. Ah! What is it? Did you find a ghost? No! I found this! Ugh! Seriously? <laughs> Stella, why do you have this movie? It's horrible! It was a gift. One that you never watched. It's cheesy and dumb and weird. That's what it is. Yeah, I'm just gonna... The attic is off limit to guests. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize. It's okay. Stop saying okay, child. Shush, and let the story progress. Why is the attic off limit? Mom keeps soap operas up there. Mm, well, looks like that was a bust. Well, it was kind of fun. Yeah, though I could have sworn I heard ukulele music playing. See, narrator? I told you you were playing that too loud. Okay, okay, sheesh, I get it. Anyway, we should get going. Sorry to bother you, Stella. It wasn't a bother. Hey, that's good to hear. At least we accomplished one objective. Which was to make friends with Stella! Yell that louder, would you? I don't think that one guy in Tajikistan heard you. Holy shit! Shit, Corin? Ingles. Shingles. That's what, that was what I was totally gonna say. Um, okay? Why were you guys staring at me? Well, it's just, you smiled. And? Well, you've never smiled before. In three weeks of knowing you, you've not smiled once. Really? Really. Oh. See ya, Stella. Call me when you want to get some self-defense tips. Hey, why do I get charged when she doesn't? Well, that went surprisingly well. Yeah, better than the previous two times. Did you hear that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I did. Why did I become corporeal right then? And why can't I touch these stupid DVDs now? Ezra, do you recognize her? Uh, I think... Good grief.